what's up guys welcome back to another awesome video and in today's video you know, you know what we're gonna be doing we have us some updates that i was gonna be telling you so first off let's get started with this we are possibly going to be putting in a cone spider coil into this um basket slash um magnet thing i should just say it's the basket mag whatever um, we're possibly going to be selling this thing. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's got the, uh, dual 8-gauge terminals. Yep. Pretty nice and slick. Got the dual slug magnets. One inch, of course. Um, these terminals seem to hold 8-gauge, maybe, in that range. So, that's what we're going to be doing. And, uh, my tape measure is somewhere. Let's measure the coil size that we could possibly put in. The basket seems large enough, so we could potentially put in maybe a 3-inch. But, um, at the moment, it's only able to hit, or do a 2-inch. So, that's what we'll do. I, God, I can't get my tape measure out already. Fudge! Now, how fantastic wasn't that? Oh, you son of a... God. Okay, anywho, next up, we're going to be trying and putting in an Empire. Am I saying that name correctly? Um, we're going to be putting in a Empire. Ampere, am I saying that correct? Jesus. Empire Audio 6.5 inch subwoofer driver into here. This subwoofer um, box isn't meant to have two 6.5s, as you guys can see. Ain't that? Um, also, the subwoofers, if you were wondering, they are breaking in nicely. Um, I've only had them for maybe at least a couple months, maybe four months. I don't know. Um, they're breaking in finely, though. Um, they're they're breaking in pretty goodly. or nice, I guess you could say. Um, the 12 seems to be a little bit more stiff, but I don't know. If it's because of it being a bigger size, but, um, I don't know, but we're going to be trying and putting an, we're going to try and put an Ampere Audio subwoofer, 6.5 inch driver, 800 watt in this thing. Um, the maximum power is, I think, around 1,600 watts, something in that range, so we'll be all right. And, uh, down here, guys. Don't call me crazy for this, okay? Do not call me crazy for this because what I'm going to say is actually pretty dang ridiculous. Down there... Well, you know what, guys? Let's just say this. You guys have seen what happens with just with those two subwoofers, okay? Those those subs. You've seen what happens... A dim little light. You've seen what happens when I have these subwoofers around. I mean, dude, it broke my freaking door handle. I mean, check this out, guys. My dad is actually still needing to repair this, but check this out. It completely, like, you see that? Look at this. Broke my door handle. I mean, you can literally twist it all the way around as much as you want. I mean, like, I don't know. But, um, yeah, and then, um, down here, you know what we're going to be doing? Guys, just... Okay, you're going to call me crazy for this, okay, guys? Um, please don't call me crazy. We're going to be putting down, possibly getting, and we're going to try and put in a Sundown Audio ZV512. <laughs> yeah, guys, do not call me crazy, but we are going to try and put in a Sundown Audio ZV512. If you guys don't know what that subwoofer looks like, then I would sure as heck recommend going and checking out downforsoundshop.com's um, place if you want to find this subwoofer for the cheapest price because this dude literally gets this stuff in and he sells them as low as you can legally go. And I've seen it before. I mean, literally, his products are cheaper than Amazon's. Like, really, it's, it's awesome. So if you guys want to go buy that subwoofer at its cheapest price, um, it's not even used yet, then go hit up um, Down for Sound Shop. Link will be down below in the description. If you click that link, it will immediately take you straight to the page where you just click order. You know, it'll take you straight to the page. 
Also, if you want to go and buy that Ampere Audio thing, also from downforsoundshop.com, the link will be down below in the description too. If you want to go check that out, I would definitely recommend going and checking that out because that is a very good subwoofer. And, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, if you guys know, if you haven't seen a Sundown Audio ZV5 subwoofer yet, and if you know what a, a subwoofer looks like basically without being in a box, then, uh, you'll be quite mind blown because, uh, they make high excursion subwoofers, okay, and their magnets are, f like, I'm not even gonna mention, they're freaking massive. And, uh, yeah, because of those additional things we're going to be doing, it's gonna double the loudness. I mean, it is gonna completely double it. Like, like I said, guys, you've seen what happened just with those two subwoofers, okay? Like, broke my freaking door handle, um, get the windows moving, etc., man. Just imagine double that power. Imagine double of that power. That is going to be just insane. Okay. And, uh, yeah, you guys can tell the Sundown will fit in here. Um, it doesn't really sound like it will, but it, it will fit. Um, the port just goes down. See that wall right there? The port just has, it just goes down. And it doesn't go this way. It just goes straight down. So there's no, like, little wooden block going that way. It just goes straight down like that. Um, so the sundown should fit in there. Um, we should have enough area in the back for that. Um, should be thick enough of a box. Um, Ampere Audio, yes, we will definitely be good. Um, this box is longer than that one. So, we should be good. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, I will be uploading a new decaf bass boosted song sometime today. Hopefully, if I can get Adobe, or not Adobe, um, if I can get, um, Audacity back running, and hopefully we can get that running so I can, um, give you guys a new bass song, and then also we're gonna try and be giving you guys another bass demo of that song. Probably not, because I did a bass demo yesterday, and that's when my door handle completely got broke. I mean, like, can you guys see this? Like, look at this. You see that line right there? Look at this. Like, it busted my door handle. Like, it completely broke my door handle. And like I said, you can just literally turn it as much as you want. Like, it's completely broke. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, that's broken. Um, this part doesn't seem to be broken. It seems to be working fine. So, yeah, I don't know what went wrong there. I don't know what went wrong or Gee, many freaking crap. I don't know what went. I do not know what went wrong there. Okay, so let's just get the proper grammar in. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like. Also, subscribe down below in the description. Did I just say in the description? Go subscribe. Hit that button down below. Also, there's a little bell notification next to the subscribe button. Turn that on so you can try and be first to the video. That's simple because, like I said... As soon as I upload a video 45 minutes later, you'll still be the first one. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, I had a voice crack there. <clears throat> Bye. Bye. Bye.